And so guys, this is the finished look with the foundation. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. My channel is about all things beauty related, all kinds of makeup content. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. Today's video is a full on review of this new Bare Minerals Foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Base Pro 24 Hour Skin Perfecting Matte Liquid Foundation. I am super, super excited about this foundation. This just kind of screams me. I have normal skin, which kind of leans more oily, but really I'm kind of like in between. And I'm just super, super excited to try out this new foundation. I purchased this myself from Ulta, so my opinions are my own. This was $44, and I have the shade Light 21 Neutral. So just to give you an idea of foundations I really enjoy, and then we're going to get right into the review because I hate it when I go to watch a review, and it's just a bunch of gibberish in the beginning of the video. But Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, this is my number one go-to. I love this. So I'm really hoping that these two are similar. L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, amazing. And NARS Radiance Long Wear Foundation, amazing. And Catrice True Skin Foundation, amazing. So like I said, I have normal skin that leans more oily. So before I apply the foundation, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put on a trusted primer. So I have the Essence Mix and Lash Mix and Lash Jelly Primer. So I am in a little bit of a rush to go somewhere, but I really wanted to film a review on this foundation and I want it to be like a true first impression. So I'm just gonna put on this Essence Primer, let this sit for a minute or two. I don't go right on top of my primers with foundation because sometimes it just, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't set right. And I'm gonna be using my Synthetic Sephora brush. I like a brush like this to apply my liquid products. And I'm really excited. I hope this foundation works. It sounds amazing. Let me read to you what they say about the foundation while I'm waiting for my primer to set. So it's vegan, clean ingredients, cruelty-free, bare minerals, base pro 24 hour wear, skin perfecting matte liquid foundation, mineral SPF 20, a clean skin improving 24 hour foundation that pro provides an undetectable full coverage matte finish and ultra comfort wear. So that just screams me. I love a full coverage foundation. I'm not a tinted, um, I like full coverage. I am not a tinted moisturizer kind of person. And it says protects against UVA, UVB rays, SPF 20, ideal for all skin types, even the most sensitive. And flexible breathable film former that aids and skin adhesion and long wear it's a mineral lock long wear technology da, 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 da. so yeah I'm really really excited it says sweat heat humidity water transfer and smudge proof that is a lot of promising stuff it kind of it kind of irks me when brands promise these really unrealistic things like sweat proof and transfer proof because let's be honest like Nothing is perfect, um, but anyway. And there's no reviews up yet, so I'm very curious. I absolutely love the packaging. It comes in a pump. It has this matte glass, and it feels very, very nice. Let's see, how much product do you get? So you get 30 mils. Let's see how much I get in my NARS. NARS is 30 mils, so they're about the same size as the NARS. And Catrice, I get 30 mils. So yeah, okay. So I think my foundation is set pretty nice. Usually I go in with my NARS concealer and conceal a little bit of my blemishes and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that with this foundation because I wanna see how much full coverage it provides. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a pump on the back of my, whoa. So that's what she looks like. A little runny, but nice. So we'll do two pumps for now. I hope I got the right shade. And let's see. Um, that is looking nice. That is looking really nice. I barely dabbed in it too. So that is looking really, really nice. I don't know what it was. I was on Ulta's website. I saw this come 
under their new products and like right away I was like I need to try this like I need to try this and like Bare Minerals has been a brand that's been around for a while and I really really have always thought their products were like like I used this one what's this the Bare Minerals original um, and I always want to try more of their products but I always like end up buying other things but when I saw this foundation I was like this just screams me so I really wanted to like try it out and honestly I use a lot of like drugstore foundations I'm really not a high-end foundation person just because I wear makeup every single day I'm a nurse I wake up at 4 30 makeup time is my favorite time of the day and so when I do my makeup before work um I just wear it every day and I wear it under a mask because I work in the OR and so I just like I don't know I don't want to like I don't know so I would buy like drugstore foundations and this Catrice one is just like phenomenal but I was like I need to try more high-end foundations and when I saw this one I was like that screams me and the way this is blending out guys like it's not even it's full coverage but it's like thin feeling and it feels so nice and fancy so I'm super excited so far it seems really nice and the shade I'm I can't believe I got the shade right I thought I was gonna have to like bronze up some things but I feel like the shade is perfect I'm actually if you've seen some of my other foundation reviews I'm actually pretty bad at guessing my shade when I first see like a, on a new product um, but this neutral one what is this again neutral 21 yeah, light neutral 21 is like so nice. So I don't see any, like I have a few moles here on the sides of my face, like freckle moles. They're pretty much covered. Um, the redness around my nose is gone and I have lots of veins in my eyes. So we'll see how this covers my eyes. I do like to put a little bit of foundation on top of my eyes. So, whoa. You guys, I'm, I hope this wears well because I am in love with this foundation. $44 is kind of pricey for me at least. Um, but I think this would be a really nice foundation that I could wear to like special events. I would probably still wear my Catrice one to work just so I can be more like mindful of cost. But holy cow, like, guys, this is nice. And, like, my my wife has dry skin, and I don't feel like this is super, um, I don't know. It has, like, a natural finish. It's not super matte, but I feel like this is definitely going to, like, hold up. So, super excited. Very, very impressed. And I don't know if you watch my, um, my other foundation reviews but usually I'm not impressed with I haven't had success let's be honest with first impression foundations but this one seems like a winner so far so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna speed that part up and then I'll show you what my makeup looks like at the very end with everything on and then I'm gonna go um, we're gonna go watch some football games at a bar and when I come back I will film how the makeup held up. This part is going to be sped up. So I applied some concealer and I'm just like, I'm blown away at how great my skin looks. It feels so nice on the skin. Like it truly is comfortable. And that's just like, not something that I usually would describe a full coverage foundation. Um, it feels comfortable. There's like no weird smells with it or anything. Usually when I put on a full coverage foundation, it has a little bit of like a paint smell, but nothing like that. The foundation or the concealer blended out amazingly right on top of the foundation. And it just, like I don't even have powders on yet and it looks so nice on the skin. So nice. Like I am truly impressed and super excited to have discovered this like
And the way it has concealed my eye veins is so nice. Um, so nice. I can't wait to have all the powders on my face so I can just like feel like what it feels like with powders on. Because the formula like right now just feels so thin and light on the skin. I'm going in with my Floresis powder. I love this stuff so much. Okay, so powders are on. Let's put a little bit more powder on. I don't know why my face feels like wet still. So let's see. So I was expecting like a really, really, really matte finish. And not that it's like not matte, but it's definitely more of a natural finish, like a um, satin finish, I would say. Not so much like matte. Like I feel like when I use these two, um, the Catrice HD and NARS, I have like a matte, you know, like a matte look before I put powder on. My skin feels so breathable and it feels like there's like nothing really like, feels like there's nothing really on my, my skin. Like it, okay, it feels like there's something there, but it feels like a lotion. Like it doesn't feel like a full coverage foundation. Coverage looks great. The powders look really nice with it. I have a little bit of emphasized pores here that I don't usually have. Um, let me see if I can tap that out with some powder. But like literally, so far I am in love. Yeah, so just a little bit of pore emphasism right here. But I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So I'm gonna go with my Jellyfish Hourglass palette. I am really on the hunt to find dupes for Hourglass's formula because it's just so amazing. Like it's definitely worth the money. Um, but I just love the bake formula. And so I bought a few products by Laura Geller that I want to do a review on and like first impression and demo. It's a baked eyeshadow palette and it's a um, baked face palette. Also, this Bare Minerals Foundation was made in Italy. And I'm gonna go in with this blush as well. So pretty, I love this blush. And the blush and bronzer went on top of the foundation so nice. Again, a little bit of pore emphasis on right here, but like, I love the foundation so far. So to seal all the powders, I like to go in with a setting spray. This is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I used this when I was in Europe. Um, I was on a boat all day in Greece and my makeup was like flawless, flawless. And I actually never planned on buying this. Um, I don't know, I feel like I tried it before and didn't like it. And I did like an order pickup and they didn't have the spray I wanted and they put this in it and I was like, whatever. And I'm so happy that I rediscovered this because it is amazing, amazing. Ugly packaging you know, but amazing product. So I'm gonna spray my face and I'm gonna press in the setting spray with this sponge. And I wait till it's like halfway dry. Then I'm just gonna take the sponge and just press in all the powders, just everything. 
and this foundation is looking flawless feels amazing like I think I have discovered one of my new favorite high-end foundations and like I said I really don't purchase high-end foundations but something in me was like I need to try this and also I was like I need to at least have a couple in my stash but another really good high-end foundation is the NARS matte or natural radiant matte one that's a really good one too all right guys so I'm gonna put on mascara all right guys so the foundation is on the powders the setting spray everything and this is the finished look and I am very happy like my skin feels super breathable I'm seeing the matte finish. I put on powder, um, translucent powder, powder blush, powder bronzer. I'm seeing the matte finish, which I prefer because my skin is like oily, normal to oily um, combination. And I'm very pleased with how this looks. The shade selection, I think I nailed my shade, which is shocking because I feel like I never really nail my shade online. Um, this is shade 21, a light neutral. And so far, I am very impressed and pleased. And we're going to see how this wears throughout the day. I'm going to a bar to watch some football games. And when I come home, probably going to be a little bit um, buzzed. But I will film a little bit on how the makeup lasted. And yeah, so here is the finished look. And then I will be back to show you how it wore. All right, so I accidentally slept in my makeup, which I do not recommend, and I wasn't going to film this, but I definitely put this foundation through the test, and I love it. That's the verdict. I think this is an amazing foundation. I really don't purchase high-end foundation, so this is going to be my new go-to, and this is what it looks like after sleeping in it, so it kind of wore off on my nose a lot, and like, but it's, you don't... It looked fine all night but um it broke up here and just like the rolling around in my pillow obviously is going to make the makeup wear off but yeah i love this foundation and i don't recommend sleeping in it um that was an accident and i actually never ever do that but i just thought i would film what it looked like the next morning after sleeping in it because i think you can kind of see that my face doesn't look super terrible or anything it kind of like wore off nicely and the formula of this foundation is absolutely amazing. Highly, highly recommend. So, yes, the verdict, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. All right, so this is the second wear test. I have all the makeup on. I have like the Hourglass Bronzer Blush, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and my normal setting powders and everything. This time I'm not using a setting spray, and I'm just going to dinner. And we'll see how it's going to look in about a couple hours or so. So, again, loving the formula. Loving the way this is looking. Um, oh, wait. I didn't put lipstick on. Anyway, I don't have any lipstick on. I just have lip liner. I've got to go put that on. But we really like the way this is looking. And we'll see how it wears. So, wear test number two. It did kind of break up. Got a little weird around my nose. And, like, emphasize my pores a little bit right here. I mean, I still really like this foundation. I might have to give it a 9 or 9.5 after this situation. But I didn't put on any setting spray. I didn't put on any um, primer. But I do like the foundation. I do enjoy it. But just whatever's happening right here is just um, not that good. Hmm. I'm sure I'll be able to make it work and try some new things to make it last better. All right, guys, that completes this review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video.